I love me some old school arcade and pinball games, and when you have new pinball games based off of old arcade games, I, I think that's kind of cool. So previously, we've taken a look at a handful of pinball games that were brand new that were based off of old Taito arcade titles, and now we have the pack that I was looking more forward to that includes Arkanoid, Bubble Bobble, The Legend of Kage, and The Rainbow Islands. These are some pretty cool games that I did enjoy in the arcade for the most part, and I was looking forward to seeing how these would transition into pinball tables. It's always kind of weird to have an existing franchise turned into a pinball table. How well do they keep the feel and look? And one of my complaints with the previous Taito tables with the At Games Legends pinball machine was while they had the look, they didn't have the sound. And for me, the music and sound is definitely a big part of the experience. And I'm happy to say for the most part here, Magic Pixel has done a good job of orchestrating their own music, composing their own music for these titles that you know, kind of still have the same feel and sound of the original arcade games for the most part. So in this pack, we've got Arkanoid. Arkanoid was an arcade game that came out in 1986. It's a block breakout type of game. And this one has a little bit of a story. The starship Arkanoid's been attacked by Doe and a small ship named Veos, I believe is how you say it, is shot out of the Arkanoid and attacks some space bricks to save the day. I mean, I guess that's as much of a story as you can get for a breakout type game, but it works. The arcade game was fantastic. I enjoyed it. Very fluid, kind of hard to play um, via emulation for me with a D-pad and whatnot. Just, you gotta get that stuff dialed in uh, instead of using like a spinner or whatever. But it was an enjoyable arcade game and transitioning into a pinball game, this is actually one of my favorites on this pack from Magic Pixel and At Games. You do have some bricks to break out. The games do all have the rules and how to play, what your targets are, all that good stuff. You can take a look at that within the options. All your, your basic settings are available, you know, to change. You can, you know, daylight settings and all that good stuff. But I, I did really enjoy Arkanoid, the pinball version here. It was very fluid. The the look was, was decent. Not my favorite of the bunch, but it's one of my favorites. Now, next up, I want to talk about the one that is my favorite, and that is Bubble Bobble. So this is also another arcade game back in 1986 where you played as Bub and Bob. You're some little dragon dudes, and you're trying to save your uh, your girlfriends. You know, I always got to be saving them girlfriends or princesses, right? The, uh, the bad guy was Baron Von Blubba, I believe was his name. Kind of ridiculous. I mean... These old school arcade games, the storylines behind them were, you know, not the most like, you know, detailed and and whatnot in the world, but they definitely work for what they are. You have a goal, let's achieve it. And in the pinball variation here, this is more in line to like how they did the Operation Wolf game where you have enemies coming at you that you attack. So obviously, this is not a realistic pinball game. This is a video game pinball game and I enjoy it. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean the music is bubble bobble to really, you know, appreciate that. And just the way with any of these tables, the lighting, how it kind of pops out at you. I've seen other digital pinball tables where the the way the games were programmed, they just looked so flat. And with these, yeah, I mean it's on a flat screen, but they do a a good job of simulating that that you know perspective that 3d look and having the the shadows on the ball the way the the ball moves it, it looks really good bubble bobble was a uh, one that i really enjoyed with all the mechanics in the game none of these games are overly complicated they're not crazy i mean you don't have multi levels and tons of crazy ramps and stuff but they're still fairly enjoyable in my opinion now the next one the legend of kage this is another early uh, you know, arcade game from the mid-80s, 1985, where you played as a, a ninja named Kage and you're out to save princess. Standard fare, you know, always saving these princesses. Why are they always in so much trouble? But there you go. I mean, the pinball game, it, it's okay. I mean, it's fairly basic, but 
it does a decent job of conveying that, hey, this is the Legend of Kage, but I do kind of wish some of these tables were a little more complicated. Uh, but the Legend of Kage, it, it was okay. Not my my most favorite, but not my least favorite either. Now, the final game that I want to quickly talk about is uh, Rainbow Island. So this game came out in 1987 in the arcade, and you played as Bub and Bob in their original human forms instead of the bubble, you know, dragons that they were. Uh, turned into anyway in Bubble Bobble. You're, you know, tasked with saving the Rainbow Islands. You gotta kill the enemies with your rainbow attacks and get to the top of the stages while the sea level continues to rise. I mean, it's a pretty dark game when you think about it, even with the rainbowy bright, you know, paint job of the game. But transitioning into a pinball table, uh, this one as an arcade game, I didn't really ever care for it too much. I've played it. Uh, you know, it was all these titles were released on numerous home consoles as well over the years. But Rainbow Islands was one I do recall playing uh, the NES version more so than anything. I've played the arcade version a bit as well and just wasn't one of my favorites. And maybe that's the reason why the pinball table is my least favorite out of this pack. But also at the same time, I just feel like the music, while I feel overall they've done a decent job with this pack as far as the music goes, and Rainbow Islands, I, I could tell after going back and listening to the original games that, yeah, the, the song that they composed for it, you know, is inspired by the original Rainbow Islands music, but it just doesn't sound right to me. It just doesn't sound as fitting. Maybe that's kind of pulling me out of it a little bit. Maybe just because I don't care for the game, the original game as much. Maybe the table's not deep enough for me. I, I don't know. It just, it was my least favorite out of this pack. I definitely see going back and playing the other three titles uh, more often than Rainbow Islands anyway, especially Bubble Bobble. Just, I like when they, they do stuff like that where it's not a traditional pinball table where they incorporate some stuff with some 3D, you know, polygon characters coming at you and, and stuff like that it's bubble bubble is really enjoyable in my opinion then arkanoid as well as you are breaking blocks like it's a, a good version of a pinball you know arkanoid block breakout style game in pinball fashion I, I thought it worked fairly well but yeah there you go i mean i got a little early chance to check these tables out they will be available in the coming days for all the different legends products I know some people love this stuff, some people don't, and that's fine, man. I've been really enjoying the Leg Legends Pinball ta you know, machine. There's like well over 100 games available for it, and I've found quite a few that I really enjoy. I'm a big pinball fan and always wanted an actual pinball table, just kind of out of reach on the price point and being able to revisit some games that I remember enjoying and getting to play some new stuff is pretty cool. So if you're interested in any of these kind of devices, or looking to buy any of these packs, I'll put a link down in the description. Really do appreciate every single one of y'all. And with that said, I will catch you next time. Bye.